People from Northeast Wisconsin who visited Brussels are in shock tonight, calling the attacks extremely frightening. NBC 26's Raquel Lamel continues our live team coverage from the newsroom. Raquel? Stacy, it's a site that's leaving the world shaken today, and I spoke with a local fire chief who was just in Brussels a few months ago. And he says this is something he never would have seen coming. This is a typical um, street. Fond du Lac Fire Chief Peter O'Leary touring Brussels with his son less than a year ago. It's a beautiful, beautiful city. Today, that beauty torn apart as terrorists kill innocent people inside an airport and train station. That, according to O'Leary, are set up similar to what's in the U.S. Nothing made me worry about um, going through there. I had to have our bags checked and everything just like we normally would. Travelers being put on alert. Agencies like AAA are sending us this statement. AAA travel partners are monitoring the situation in Brussels very closely. We are working with travel suppliers to identify AAA members in the area to account for their safety. O'Leary says he has a friend whose son is expected to go to Brussels in less than a week. And as a father, he's worried. Brussels has been in the news way too much. and. Uh, there's a reason why that there's a vulnerability, obviously, that they have, and the terrorists figured that out. O'Leary praying for those affected as well as the safety of those he cares about. Now, O'Leary says he would love to go back to Brussels one day, but he has no plans of heading there until things settle down. Live in the Green Bay Newsroom, keeping you connected, Raquel Lamel, NBC 26.